three things I wish I knew before buying a 3D printer. So the first thing I wish I knew before buying a 3D printer was how often they actually break. I spend a lot of money on these things, three, four hundred pounds, five hundred, some go up to a thousand pounds. They still break. No matter what you do, you're gonna to need to tamper about with them. Be prepared for it to break and you're gonna to have to spend more money on it to fix it. As you can see, look at this print at the moment, 500 quid, belt's gone. Easy fix, 10, 15 pound, but still, it's another expense. So the second thing I wish I knew before buying one was how long these things take to get them to look half decent. Absolutely time hogging hobby. These things are gonna need attention. Just to get them to look half decent, to fit, to weld together. Have you got time? Have you got money? You know, first one's night, second one time. And last but not least, and last but not least, these things take up a lot of space. Look at size that, that should one helmet. So as you can see, a lot of different things printed. Big space hoggers. If you ain't got space for these things, you're gonna to need to think about what you're gonna do with these. Where you're gonna put them, where you're gonna store them. Are you gonna showcase them? Are you gonna sell them? If so, you're still gonna to have to store them somewhere. At the minute, these are in my garage. Spent a lot of money, hundreds and hundreds of quid on it. Just stuck in my garage for no reason. My advice to it would be, obviously get a 3D printer, because it's amazing, but start off with prints where you can just print them in certain colors, PLA, stick them together. A lot more hassle, we don't have to, like this is still PLA, See the ridges on it for, for what it is. It's just coming there. Can you see it there? Can you see the shine? You can't get that with other things. Basically, you can do whatever you want with them. Plastic at the end of the day.